I'm going to present to you uh, a research on cryptography and the academic and curriculum and training needs of graduates for global employability. Um, the previous speaker who was here was talking about uh, social networking and from what he was saying, he indicated that these social networks are not at all secure in terms of our information. So that problem of that information that we have on our social, info, um, on, on our social networks can actually be solved by using cryptography. Cryptography is basically an area of applied mathematics, and this, is, this comes from the Greek word for hiding or a secret. So um, in its simplest term, it's just basically the art of writing and solving codes for the purpose of protecting computer systems. Okay, so for the definitions, I'll just uh, briefly highlight on cryptography. As I said before, it's basically hiding information. And all of this uses applied uh, mathematics. So I'm not going to go into the detail of the mathematics. It will just be basically what information security is all about. So protection of information uh, has become a major challenge uh, since the beginning of computer age. Right? So given the widespread adoption of computer technology for business operations, the problem of information protection has become more urgent than ever. We have individuals, governments, and even some organizations, these all routinely connect to the internet for communication. <coughs> Hence, information security is a priority for uh, companies. This is because we have computer files, uh, databases, networking, and also some internet-based applications. And all of these have become a critical uh, asset of any organization. And now when these assets are attacked, damaged, or even threatened, then integrity becomes an issue. And this may disrupt the day-to-day -day runnings of organizations, and it may even um, stop the operations of the companies. Hence, there is a need for trained graduates who specialize in information security. Right, as I was emphasizing, uh, the need for increasing the, uh, de developing security education as specialized collegiate degrees or enhancing existing uh, degree programs with security related courses. So basically saying that this cryptography can actually be incorporated into our, our, our degree programs. So addressing uh, security threats and attacks is an immensely challenging task. So with the rise of hacking and security threats around the globe, uh, it has become an absolute necessity for computer science graduates to be well versed in computer security. So now this is when uh, cryptography comes into play. Right? Cryptography has always been relevant in our day-to-day -day lives we use it at times knowingly and at times not knowingly. And it, has, it is becoming even more relevant uh, internationally. So, this cryptography turns into a basic and important course of computer science and technology speciality, especially at Otto University. So it is of key importance for these modern organizations who are connected to, to, to the internet 
to have an understanding of uh, cryptography and its applications. When used um, properly, cryptography uh, plays an important role in securing information for businesses. But when used inappropriately, um, this cryptography can, can actually lead to a false sense of security and therefore this could lead to the following, pro uh, the, the following problems. We could have unfair competition between uh, businesses. It's a case whereby maybe rival companies, they could be having access to confidential information of their rival businesses. Right? This could lead to loss of investments, uh, which could also result in um, liquidation of companies. Right? We could also have a case of espionage, that this is when uh, people spy just to get some information, could be government, or military, or even business information. Right. Uh, another case we could also have is that of uh, customer credentials could be uh, compromised. Like for example, let's say in the banking sector, uh, imagine a situation whereby your credit card details are compromised. Who knows what's going to happen? So these are the problems which can be faced in information and, and security. So the main objectives of my research is to advance the theory of information security and cryptography as scientific disciplines at Otto University. Right? and to also identify future issues of information security. Right. As I said before, um, cryptography is the art of hiding uh, information. And this subject on cryptography is the basic and core content of information security. Right. So, In today's environment, uh, cryptography is considered as a branch of both uh, mathematics and computer science. So Stollings there highlighted that cryptography is a core curriculum for the majors of computer science and technology. Uh, nowadays for the computer science, uh, most computer science courses, they actually focus on um, looking at functionality and also maybe developing a system and making it work. By contrast, when we include cryptography, we are actually looking at functionality of that system in the presence of an attacker. So cryptography basically provides uh, the means to guarantee the following critical issues of information security and, com and communication. So we have uh, confidentiality. We have confidentiality. So this is a case whereby um, information is, is protected from unauthorized persons. Confidential information is protected from unauthorized persons. Then we have authentication. And this is when uh, a receiver of a message is actually able to identify the source of, of that message. Then we have integrity, whereby the receiver it can actually determine whether the message that was sent has not been tampered with. Right? So I'll just briefly run through what cryptography is all about. Right? We've got the sender and the receiver there. So what happens is to secure our information, the best way to actually encrypt that message, that is to have our plain text message, we can actually use some mathematical algorithms, then we convert that plain text into the readable form, which is the cipher text. Now this cipher text is the one which is going to be transmitted via the internet. So as you know, the internet is the unsafest place, it's public for, every, for everyone. Anyone can download anything. So those who download our messages down the internet can actually download the unreadable form. Now, as long as they do not have the, 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 the decryption algorithm, they're not able to make sense of that message. So our messages will be very secure. 
So what's going to happen is the receiver will be having the decryption algorithm, which they're going to use to convert that unreadable form of the message into the plain text. So we are assured that the message is getting to the receiver in a safe and secure way, right? So there are basically two categories of cryptography called secret key and public key. Secret key, the same key is used for both encryption and decryption. And for public key, we've got the private key, which is only known by one person, and then the public key, which is publicized even on the internet. Even as you go on the internet, if you look at any website, there's a certificate, there's a digital certificate, and then on that dig digital certificate, there's what is called a public key. That one is public. It can be put on the notice board. Anyone can use it. So public keys is the one that's used for encrypting the message for which for the person you intend to send to. And then it's only that person who will have the, 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 the private key. So these are the common algorithms which are used. Uh, we have the data encryption standard. This is what is used on our ATMs all over the world. They use the, what is called the triple days. So all the ATMs, they use the triple days. That's the algorithm which will be in those ATMs and it's very secure. Then there's just an advancement of AES and Blowfish. So these are symmetric key algorithms. The public key algorithms which are popular, we've got the digital signature algorithm, the RSA, the El Camar, and then we've got elliptic curve cryptography. Elliptic curve cryptography is, the, um, is a hot topic, okay? And um, this is what is usually incorporated into our phones and onto our, our ATM cards. And nowadays, some banks are actually using uh, these smart cards, right? So for the curricula in universities, there, um, uh, Van proposed three models in which we can incorporate in cryptography into our, our, our curricula. So this cryptography can be uh, incorporated within existing courses like here at Boto University, we've got computer science, we've actually incorporated that, that, that course into uh, uh, computer science. Then uh, it could be integrated, it could be an integration of security into software engineering program, right? Or we could have a case where we create a degree focus on computer security. So this would be a case maybe where we have a specialization of, of information security. It's mostly at postgraduate level. So I'll just quickly run through. So the whole idea of this methodology, uh, what happened is that I just um, gave 20 requirements of what uh, uh, the students uh, think they best need for, for them to be qualified as information security officials and also the, the IT professionals. So from the list, they chose the best. Uh, the one which talked was basically looking at um, understanding the basics of cryptography. So for my recommendations there, I'll recommend, like for the teaching methodologies, um, cryptography is highly application oriented. So the students will be spending a lot of time in the laboratory uh, actually trying to design, develop, and test this technology. Then for the students themselves, they will require a high level background of mathematics and sciences. And for the sciences, it's especially physics. So if, if the students have a background of mathematics and physics, then they will be okay for, for this subject. Like for Boto University, we could incorporate mathematics and physics in the first and second year as majors in the computer science. And then as they go into third year, when they look at uh, um, software engineering, that is when they could actually specialize in the area of information security. Right, so basically I'm just saying that there's a, a growing need for security technology in almost every sector of the nation. And Boto University uh, is, can actually be in a position to incorporate this uh, information uh, security, especially the area of uh, cryptography into our uh, computer science uh, degree program so that we have the information security officials who are very few in the world at the moment. Thank you. Or you are saying we can actually behave our graduates protected from public exposure, which Mr. Banda was talking about, by teaching them this cryptology that you are talking about. Which dimension are you talking about? Thank you.
thank you. That's a very good question. This is um, a very sensitive area. It, like the way you're putting it, it could be dangerous, but imagine, like here at Boto University, we also use internet-based applications, isn't it? Even in banking or any other organization. Now, just imagine one day you wake up, then you're told that there's no money in the bank. It happened. What could have happened? It means your, 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 your information was compromised. It could happen. And it's a very serious issue. Because one day we can just wake up and then we're told there is no money in the bottle account. It's all vanished. It's gone. So that's how critical it is. We have, um, uh, like in the banking sector, we have, we could have uh, some IT personnel, right? But now, most of these IT personnel, they, 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 they don't have that uh, much appreciation of cryptography. Fine, they buy software overseas, they bring it, they install it, but how secure is that if, uh, system of okay? What are the chances that they're getting that full security? It's only the one day, it's a time bomb. You just wake up and everything's gone. So at least we're saying, I'm just saying that we need people at least to appreciate how this cryptography works, because it's very, very important. Fine, you might buy a system, so how do you know it's really working?